Hello everybody, my name is Magnus, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. Last we left off, we fought Camilla and have taken her down. Uh, we've entered the Nazca ship, and we'll see what happens next. You can start the ship by placing the sky orb into the cockpit. And we will do just that. Kick it all the way back up. Wow, the ship is vibrating! What's going on? <clears throat> Don't worry. <laughs> and I missed that line. It's floating! The big ship is floating! We're going higher and higher. A lot of this is automatic, so I'm not able to slow it down. I've never experienced anything like this in my years of life. Okay, now we'll head to Grand's Island. Ooh, we're flying! And I cannot keep up with that! <laughs> if I, I'll try to do the lines if I can keep up with it, but in this case, it just goes on its own, and the, the tech speed is on fast. So, you know what? I'm just gonna let you enjoy this. There's that eye. Huh. He looks familiar. Huh. So this is one of those great things that you like you carry this character around that you find out who he really is and it's it's great to to see that. Uh, and you're kinda seeing some future enemies here too, which is wonderful. Go. Shoot him down. The great cinematics of the Sega Genesis. Or the Mega Drive, depending on where you come from. Shining Force 2 took that, that weird turn in the technology that Shining Force 1 kind of went with. This is still something kind of like magical and not... It doesn't quite make any sense. Uh, but on the inside here, it almost seems like you could get to some of that stuff. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, maybe that's why I was going so fast. It just assumed that I was pressing A. That's weird. Okay. Was it too wild? Whew. We've made it to Grand's Island. Oh, we guess probably... Guess probably coming for us. Evacuate the ship. What are you doing? Get off the ship. I'll go first. We must finish our preparations before Guess finds us. And everybody's here. What a ride! Oh, my twinkling stars. Oh, my twinkling stars. <laughs> I, I think everybody just kind of like rotates there. <laughs> Which is actually a little funny. Except for those that are dead. Oh, wait! <laughs> the flames, they dock. Uh, okay. Anyways... What a terrible waste. We've lost an ancient treasure. Anyway, we have to go to Ark Valley. Bowie, let's go. At uh, first, we're gonna do the little deposit and take out trip uh, for the power ring. And that was on Janet. Oh, and I could... Well, no, I'm saving the running pimento for somebody. 
I am saving it for somebody. Uh, we'll get back to Janet. Alright, and let's see what happens. Now we're gonna go down here. Uh, which, by the way, there is a there is a way to movement glitch all the way up to here. If you don't know what a movement glitch is, there's actually a way in battle to move farther than where you are currently positioned. Uh, I don't have the way of doing it. I know that it's possible, and I've seen it done if you watch uh, Bowie Alexander's Twitch playthroughs, uh, any of his recordings, I would suggest looking there, because he uses it all the time for Shining Force 2, because it's very useful to move farther than you'd expect. Uh, and you can actually get up to here early. Uh, well, maybe not this exact spot. Actually, it's a different it's a different village, but in either case, you can get to these areas early. Because you are on Grand's Island. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I need to revive some guys, but I also need to just traverse this. And why, you ask? There's a very important reason. Who's there? This is a sacred place! Oops. She's too beautiful for you. Back, back! <laughs> this is just, this is just silly. Wait! Is that you, Sir Astra? What? Who are you? Do you know me? Oh, you don't remember me? Well, uh, sorry. I'm Sheila. I was a pupil of yours in Gollum. I was preparing to become a priest. Sheila! I can't believe it! How's that scar on your chest? Remember? You snuck up behind me and tapped my shoulder. And you kicked me in the chest. And it left a scar. How could I forget? Nobody but Sheila knew about that scar. It still aches sometimes. I'm sorry that I kicked you. That's okay. <laughs> How about... Uh... Hey, aren't you going to introduce us? Of course. Should be that's okay. All in good time. By the way, what are you doing here? I came to kill Red Baron. He killed my fiance. Oh, sorry. And why did you come back to Grand's? To reseal Zeon. King of the Devils? Listen, Sheila. All the killings lately are caused by him. He'll destroy the entire world. He must be stopped. Is Red Baron his follower? Could be. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Close your eyes. Sir Astral, please let me go with you. We welcome you, but can you fight? <laughs> I've made my body into a weapon. Where did you learn to do this? You're a priest. I messed up that voice. I was. But now I'm a master monk. We could use another well-trained fighter. Yes. Yes, we could. Uh, Sheila is a favorite for many people uh, within this. Uh, I'm not going to say that she is the best, uh, but she is good. She's a master monk. What do you expect? Um, unfortunately, that doesn't mean we have to say goodbye to Rick, but we will get to that point. Uh, you know what? I, I didn't rate Gaian, so we're going to have to do that before I end this episode. So whether I'm in a battle or not, we will go through and rank. We've got a strong ally! Many Gollum soldiers are in the west. We must be careful. There we go. But... Oh, that's not what I meant, but hey. <laughs> he takes on the voice there. Uh, so we're gonna have Sheila join. <laughs> it's funny having, having him with that. Oh, uh, but I mean, look at this already. So, she starts off with boost. Fantastic. So she has Muddle and Blast. Not the not the best spells, but at least she can automatically do damage. 
But she's a master monk. She starts off with, with decent enough attack with worse knuckles than what Karna has. So she's going to be very useful for us. Uh, this is this is going to be fun. Uh, but unfortunately, that does mean we have to say goodbye to Rick. Why does Roach show up so early in that? In this, hmm. there's no reason for him to, because we get him later than Rick. But so, uh, I mean, sorry, Rick. Uh, you were fantastic for us. High defense, able to move far. Sorry, you're gonna have to go. All right, and now enough with that. <clears throat> now we'll go through the rest of this. Uh, I forget if there's any extra items that were hiding around here. I think there's a treasure chest somewhere. Oh, no, not there. I should always figure where we're gonna exit. It's it, it's been a while since I've done this. Oh, they're not talking. I'm always in control of my mind. Where are you from? I used to be a priest. Do you need my help? Welcome. The desire will be fulfilled. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's revive everybody. <laughs> so, at least I've got plenty of money at this point in time, which is fin fantastic. Uh, I haven't been... I haven't lost Bowie, so that's been that's been good. <laughs> that's the part that I worry about the most before getting the mithril weapons, because uh, they're expensive, five thousand uh, each to do. Yes, we're going to save. Yeah, but the, uh, you could actually miss this village, miss Sheila, and then miss this priest uh, if you. I don't know if you get to a town before you get to the next battle. I think that you do, but let's say that you you died, you'd be able to come back right here, I think. Now that I saved there, I can. Hey, there's a brave apple. Okay, so I'm actually going to give that brave apple to Taya. She needs the experience. We're gonna use it. Okay, so no new spells yet, but that's okay. We will get there. Yeah, so he has the power axe. I don't know why I thought the guy might have had something different, but that's okay. You're in the party. That's the, that's that's not what I wanted. I need to pass the healing drop off. At least I think she has weak, weaker knuckles. I might just be wrong on that. I could ter be terribly wrong. Uh, and there's nothing interesting up here. Okay. I always forget where where some things are. I don't intend on missing anything in particular here, but, um, you know, things happen. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, checking that. Uh, so, if you give me one moment, I will actually have that figured out. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to be using this, so... One moment, please. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, yes, so there are some things that I that I have missed. Uh, so one, there's a way of getting uh, 
three Master Monks. Uh, it's in one of these trees. Let's see here. Uh, so, you'll find a group of trees. Yep, yep, we find a group of trees. So this one? Yep. Yeah, you can get the Vigor Call. So you can actually have three Master Monks, uh, which is insane. Um, game? Okay. I guess it didn't want me to uh, do things. That's, that's interesting. Um, so there is a way of... Hmm. And there's another Mithril. Yeah, head up the right side. Huh. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been over... Since I've been over here. So I forget. That's why I went over here initially. That's not the way to get there, huh? Yeah, it's just gonna take me a second. Man, all of these... So if I... Let me see if I can get this path straight. It's funny. What's funny is that probably when I was younger going through this, I would explore so much that I would have been able to find this pretty, pretty simply. How do I get over there? Hmm. So I can't get through there in that way. Let's see. Hmm. Aha! There we go. That would be it. That's what we're looking for. But, yeah. You can go through and explore this. Boom. Okay. Now that that's done, <laughs> I can continue on. Uh, I'm not going to use the bigger ball, so. Yep, and that's what I thought. Yeah, you go right into a battle. Gasp! Unbelievable! You really are persistent. We'll never stop. We will not die until we destroy all of you. Bowie, kill him. We have to kill him now. I'm very sorry, but I have to go. Don't let them advance. Okay. He escaped again. Gep sure is a tricky devil. After him, now! Alright. Look at that just pile of enemies. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Uh, sure, sure, going through here. Uh, but, main point is to go through and kill the bow rider. Sorry about that. <laughs> Early morning. Uh, let's go through and kill the bow rider. Uh, not too terrible, but again, as we just keep going through, more and more attack. Purple worms. Uh, so they're more dangerous than the worms that we had before. Uh, we have griffins that are flying around now, more dangerous than the uh, Pegasus knights that we were fighting before. Still low defense, so not, not the worst. Uh, we do have a chaos wizard. Blaze 4 is uh, going to be damaging, so that's actually the first wizard that we are going to be really scared of in a long time. Uh, however, we do obtain a heat axe from one of these guys when we defeat him. Uh, and this is not the only set of enemies. Uh, by the way, Mist Demons, yeah, mm, oof. Uh, they're going to be so annoying. <laughs> that's, that's really what they are, they're just really annoying. Um, Yep, yeah, the more enemies will pop up, Mudmen will pop up, and that's just not a lot of fun. In either case, uh, 
let's go through. Uh, I didn't rate Gaian. Uh, now that I go through and see what his stats are for when you get him, for a character that you get already promoted with no grinding, he's immediately useful. He's not the best. But that huge defense is a major factor uh, in him being useful here. And really, I have to give him a lot of points for that. Uh, I will probably rate him a 3 out of 5, because although he isn't one of the best attackers that you will find, he is still good. Uh, he is solid when you have him. The only problem is, is if you... Like, if you compare him to other characters that you may get early on and just keep from then on, if you compare him over to Peter, Slade, Gerhalt, you know, uh, the flying ability for Luke, or, um, you know, if you took any of Cart, the Creed's 4 and everything, there's so, uh, so many great characters that a good character like this kind of gets thrown to the wayside because he's just, you know, he looks worse in comparison, but he's still a good character for when you get him. Uh, in my in my case, he's going to be great for this run. Uh, so he's going to be good frontline warrior, and I'm excited to have him here. Uh, you know, you can go through and compare him to, to Higgins that we got before. It's, it's on a different caliber at this point in time. Whole different caliber. Uh, then we get Sheila, uh, and she's kind of... She kind of goes in the same route. Uh, actually... Yeah, she has iron knuckles, she has brass knuckles. Maybe I should swap that, but in either case. Uh, Sheila is a master monk, and that automatically brings a lot of benefit. The first thing is, is that she will always be able to get more powerful, no matter what. You know, it, the other characters, yes, they will gain experience, uh, gain a lot of experience for killing monsters as they keep, as they level up. But there is some fall-off points when, with the experience levels uh, up and you know, till near the end where it, it's a really high level. Uh, but we're talking Sheila can get up to level 99 without too many problems because of boost. And because of that, uh, her stats can get just massively insane as you go through the battle. So no matter what situation you're in, as long as you keep her alive, she can always get the job done at some point. Does the same thing with all the other Master Monks. Uh, Sarah is a little bit harder because she just doesn't have the spells that allow her to gain a lot of experience. Uh, but Sheila has that main one of boost. Uh, her other spells aren't very useful. Heal is great, but Aura is what we really want at this point in time, so it's kind of a downside for her. And Metal, it's not useless, but it's not fantastic. It's not reliable. Uh, Boost is reliable, Blast is reliable, just not a lot of damage, and Heal is reliable. So that's an okay spell list. Uh, and I'm going to rate her a 4 out of 5. And that is just because of how strong the Master Monks are. Uh, they don't have a lot of movement, but their stats can get just insane. And it doesn't take them that long to do it. And they're just, she's just going to be useful, no matter what. She's going to be able to go through from the get-go and boost anybody that Karna is not able to get right now. So, if Karna doesn't get them, Sheila will get them, and that means everybody has more agility and more defense constantly. And if there's small groups that lose their boost, that, you know, Karna can't get to, Sheila might be able to get to. And it's just really good to have another person there. And again, and just another healer is, is wonderful. I have three healers now, when before I was really struggling basically with none. So it's really good to have in there. Yeah, it, she's she's wonderful. Now, when we talk about like a speed run or anything else like that, she's not. Uh, she's not one of the main characters that they use. Sorry, it's just not what you end up. Uh, what ends up happening. Uh, but that's okay. She's still useful for your regular casual play. In either case, we'll start this battle off the next time. It looks like we've got a long way to go, and we will have a long way to go here, but we will have some enemies to fight along the way, uh, and we're already taking up enough time. In either case, my name has been Magnus. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like and comment down below. 
and you're just jumping in at this point, please watch the playlist and watch the rest of the playthrough. We're having a lot of fun going through all the battles and seeing all the enemies destroy me in random ways uh, as I go through a hard challenge. Uh, in any case, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.